What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our What Players Wear on the Field series, and today's player is going to be superstar Cardinals quarterback, Kyler Murray. Not only is Kyler Murray one of the most exciting players to watch in the NFL, he also has some of the coolest gear, and today we're going to cover some of that for you guys. There's a couple reasons why we chose Kyler Murray for today's video. First of all, in my opinion, he's the swaggiest quarterback in the NFL, and you guys have been blowing up the comments with Kyler Murray. Just in case you guys are new to the series or just need kind of a little refresher on what we do, we take a player for this one that's going to be Kyler Murray, and we talk about their gear head to toe. Helmets, cleats, visors, pads, you name it, we're going to talk about it in today's video, and I'm going to give you guys as much information about each product as I can. I'm going to tell you guys what the product is, why the player wears it, and even where you guys can get it for yourself. Without further ado, let's get right into the video and start talking about Kyler Murray's football helmet. Kyler Murray is one of the many players in the NFL to be wearing the Riddell Speedflex. Kyler Murray switched into Speedflex in 2017 while at Oklahoma, and he has worn it ever since. If you guys have watched some of these videos in the past, you guys know the Speedflex is super common. It is the most common helmet in football across all levels. The Speedflex is the perfect blend of modern styling and top of the line padding, making it one of the most safe helmets in the NFL. The Speedflex scores a perfect five out of five on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale, making it one of the safest options available. So the key to the Speedflex's success is its ability to flex. So it does have that crown hexagon panel that you guys see there, that flexes to absorb contact, and then the actual shell and face mask also flex to absorb contact and prevent it from getting to your head. For the last couple months, speed flexes have been kind of hard to come by. Um, I think Riddell just restocked on their website, but we suggest that you grab some from our good friends over at Green Gridiron. They're $440 and they will be linked below. So just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video, we're going to link every single product we talk about in this video below in the description, or we're going to find the closest option to it. All right, now we're going to continue to talk about Kyler Murray's helmet setup, and that brings us to his visor. So the first one we're going to talk about is his game time visor, and that is going to be the Oakley Clear Prism Visor. If you guys look really closely at K1's visor, you guys will see a pinkish tint, and that is Oakley's Prism technology. This lens helps you see the game a little bit clearer and looks pretty sweet. Visors are an excellent way to block out some of the sun and block out some random debris or turf pellets that kind of fly up while you play football. You guys can purchase the Oakley Clear Prism Visor from Green Gridiron for $70. Again, it's linked below. Now let's talk about one of the cooler visors, and that's going to be the Oakley Prism Torch Pro Visor. For pregame and practice, K1 is rocking this stunning Oakley Torch Pro Visor. This visor has the same cool Oakley Prism technology, but it looks reddish oranges from the outside, which makes it look pretty sick. This tint not only looks amazing, but it helps block out some of that harsh Arizona sun for Kyler Murray. This is one of the coolest visors out there and looks incredible with the Arizona red uniforms. You guys can purchase the Oakley Prism Torch Pro Visor for $90 from Green Good Iron. Now it's time to take a look under his speed flex and talk about his new era skull cap. This skull cap helps the helmet sit better on K1's hair. I assume that this skull cap is team issued because New Era is the official on-field cap of the NFL, so that would make a lot of sense. You guys can purchase New Era skull caps on fanatics.com, but I can't seem to find the Cardinals one for you guys, but you guys can check out some of the other teams. Again, every single product in this video will be linked in the description. Now it's time to talk about Kyler Murray's shoulder pads. Kyler Murray is wearing the Riddell CPK shoulder pads. Kyler Murray has been wearing these shoulder pads since his days at Oklahoma and has brought them to the NFL with him. Even though it's almost impossible to tell exactly which version of the pads he is wearing because his jersey is always covering him, I assume this is the QB slash wide receiver version. This version is going to be the lightest version and also allow for the most range of motion, which is key for a quarterback like K1. If you guys are interested, you guys can get these shoulder pads for $500 on Riddell's website. Now, if we're talking about his shoulder pads, we also have to talk about his rib protector. To protect his ribs, Kyler Murray is wearing the Riddell Power SPX rib belt. Now, this is something I get questions about all the time because a lot of people see Kyler Murray with his rib protector out in warm-ups and are like, what kind of rib protector is that? So there is your answer, the Riddell Power SPX rib belt. He has it in an all-white colorway because he took this from Oklahoma as well. It's not the standard black one that you guys see on Riddell's website. This rib protector does seem to be a little bulky, but it's very important that quarterbacks have their ribs protected when they're in the pocket or when K1 decides to run upfield and scramble. Rib protectors seem to be a must-have for quarterbacks these days, and these are a great option. You guys can get the Riddell Power SPX rib belt from Riddell for $110 to $210. The medium and the large are $110, and then for whatever reason, when you go to the XL, it jumps up an extra $100, making it $210. Now it's time to talk one of the coolest parts of Kyler Murray's game day setup, and that's going to be his custom Bruce Lee thigh pads. So as you guys may know, Kyler Murray is a huge Bruce Lee fan. After he won Rookie of the Year, he actually treated himself to a big Bruce Lee chain, and these pads further show his love for Bruce Lee. These thigh pads are custom made by trade decals, and those trade decals have gotten super popular in the NFL over the past year or so. It seems like every cool player these days is wearing them. We've covered them in some of our past What Players Wear videos, and they're a really cool way to express yourself in a low-key manner. So as you guys can see, one of the thigh pads has Bruce Lee, and then the other one has his KM logo, which is pretty cool. You guys can create your own custom trade decal thigh pads or shop some of their stock options at tradedecal.com, link below. 
Now let's talk about the cleats Kylo Murray has worn this season, and that is going to be the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite. So the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite released in 2020 and was the highest tier model of the Nike Vapor line. This cleat features a fly knit upper, a pull tab to tighten them up, and a brand new edge traction plate. This edge traction plate is two pieces, has these awesome edge studs, and allows you to cut on a dime. These are one of my favorite cleats that I've ever tested in my entire life. So if you guys have not seen the full review video on these, definitely check it out. Kyler Murray has worn these cleats in a lot of colorways throughout the season, but I'm gonna talk about three main ones. The first one is this amazing white and yellow pair. So when I first saw yellow on Kyler Murray's cleats, I thought to myself, the NFL is gonna find him. He can't wear yellow. But then I remembered slash found out the Cardinals logo has a small splash of yellow in the beak that allows players to wear yellow accessories. And throughout this season, we've seen more and more players take advantage of it. And it's a really cool look. I like it, but I know a lot of the old heads don't. Um, but I think it looks really good. He also wore these cleats in a super sleek black and red colorway. It was kind of like a metallic blackish red. It looked really good. They're fire. So now the last colorway I'm going to talk about is a pair inspired by the Air Max 95. These things are incredible. The guys at Nike took a Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite and made it mimic the iconic Air Max 95. It has the same wavy lines. It has the same lace loops. And instead of the word air in the little oval on the tongue, it says vapor. These things are sweet. Also on the insole of these cleats, you do see Bruce Lee's face and kind of those scratch marks on the other. Another tribute to Bruce Lee. These are definitely some of the coolest cleats we've seen all season. If you guys are interested in getting the regular Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite, they are $200 on East Bay. We'll put a link in the description. Now the final pair of cleats I'm going to talk about in this video is probably one of the most exciting cleats we've covered in any of these videos and that is going to be the nike vapor carbon 2014 pro tro well this pair of cleats is something the football community has been asking for for a very long time and that is a nike vapor carbon 2014 retro slash pro tro the nike vapor carbon 2014 is one of the most beloved and sought after cleats to ever grace the gridiron and it seems that they might be making a comeback well, kyla murray was the first player to debut this new vapor carbon pro tro model and it does look a little bit different they've made some slight tweaks slash upgrades from the original model from 2014. As you guys can see in these pictures, this Pro Tro version has the edge plate and a detached thicker tongue than the original model, as you guys can see here. Uh, this tongue is one piece and it's kind of just a little bit thinner. So like I mentioned, K1 is the first player to debut these cleats and they were yellow, red, and white with his KM logo on the insole. Super dope. These cleats are incredible and will be one of the most anticipated cleat releases of all time and i have a good feeling that these are going to come to the public soon so hopefully you guys did enjoy this kyla murray video if there's anybody you guys want to see featured in the next video comment them below right now like i mentioned in the intro we check these all the time so definitely comment your favorite player or a player we haven't done yet my name is devin also known as fbe and thanks for watching another episode of footballers